All right, so I'm doing this video to give folks a better look at how I smoke my fish. It's just a bunch of older branches off the trail out back. Um, sometimes viney maple or trimmings from the apple trees. Just a rock box. I don't know if you guys can see, but it has a flue inside there made out of, of a metal roof. That goes through so just the smoke comes out over in this box, which is also made out of metal roofing. The way the lid sets on, the corrugated gives it its breathers. And then, uh, get ready to do a batch of some kokanee and some trout. So that brine's, uh, well, Mostly brown sugar and uh, salt. So, we'll fire it up. It's a hundred and three fish, I think. All loaded up. Guessing I probably got, I don't know, 50 or 60 of them in there. Still got quite a bit to go. So I'll have to wait till the next go around. Go ahead and get this fire started up now. So it's been burning on its own for a little while. I don't want to worry about it going out. It's got a little bit of coals. So I'm going to throw some heavy stuff on here and box it up and let it simmer for a while. By the way, it's, uh, it's running just under 100 degrees. I run it that way for, I don't know, six or eight hours and then just heat it up before the end. So uh, you kill off any bacteria that might be in there. Because um, if you cook it too hot, then you're just doing that, you're cooking it, you're not smoking it. Now I'll watch that temperature. If it rises too much, which it's not running, it just turned about 100. So you can do this. 
Okay, that. Work its way in there. Mix, just cool it down a little bit. Temperature's just over 100. I don't know if you guys can see. I'll probably throw a little water on the fire, put it out so I can leave it unattended for a little while, just smoke and catch back up again after a little while. So they've been going about, I don't know, seven hours or so, I suppose. I did the check. They're nice and done. A little bit dry, but not, you know, a little bit of moisture left, but. So I'll pop the top, let it cool for a while. Load them up, chill them for a few hours, and then start packaging them. I'll make another video that shows how I package them for long-term storage.